Well, hello there, Nerd Explorers. As you can tell, I have new headgear. Or it's kind of an extension of my head. Yeah, I've been hiding it for some time now. I've just decided to kind of reveal it to you. I'm I'm actually I'm part cyborg. This week's theme, um, thanks to Jenna, is to talk about things that we think we can do that other people on this collab cannot do. Um, I've been thinking really, really hard, um, and I think I've got one, maybe just one. Um, my graphic design. So um, I actually like to do graphic design um, as a hobby. It's not really a job kind of a thing. I wouldn't want to take it on as a job, um, but it's kind of something fun that I like to do whenever I have a creative idea. Uh, I would try to put a lot of things together. I like taking a lot of vectors that I find online and just meshing them together and seeing how they kind of contrast with each other and kind of like interact um, on the screen. I like to do this a lot, I guess. And this means interact. Um, so yeah, graphic design, uh, programming, web design, web development, coming up with little programs uh, that don't really do anything uh, for the better of humanity, uh, only to take up space on my computer and to kind of give me some enjoyment and some uh, sense of achievement that I know how to do something. Um, but yeah, I guess programming, uh, web development, coming up with creative designs for websites, I guess, something of that nature. Well, I'm pretty athletic, I guess. I would think so. Uh, I actually play volleyball um, as a professional hobby. I don't want to say just hobby because it's not just a hobby because I do it constantly. Um, I'm always at the beach. Um, I'm always at the courts. Um, I'm constantly training and just getting myself better uh, doing drills most of the time. Um, I mean, I played volleyball for a very long time since like my freshman year of high school and I've been on the varsity, I was on the varsity squad all those four years and then ever since then I didn't really let it go although that was kind of court now I'm kind of just moved on to the beach so I do that um, and a lot of people they, they always they, they kind of are surprised and shocked they're like you actually play a sport I'm like yeah you don't really see me much to really know that about me but um, yeah I'm actually I don't really go to the beach every single day because I don't have that opportunity um, but I am actually there um, on the weekends um, for as many hours as I as I possibly can. I mean, I like to I like to play all kinds of sports. I'm not just a one-sided guy just to one sport. I mean, I play basketball, I play football, I play any other sport that's out there except for rugby. That thing is a little too rough. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm I'm all right with playing sports. I'm Hispanic, so I'm expected to know how to dance. Let me tell you something here. I can dance, but not as good as someone would expect a Hispanic to know how to dance. All right? um, it's kind of like a requirement for Hispanics, at least in my community, in my, at least where I live, for everyone to know, or at least to at least understand how to dance. Um, but you're not expected to be an expert. Okay, But you should have at least some skills, at least early on, like in your teenage years and then from there on like kind of retain them um, so that's all I have I only have like those skills that I kind of learned in my teenage years and I've kind of just retained those um, and I, whenever I go to like a wedding or a um, or a cousin's like sweet 15s or sweet 16s whatever it is um, like I'll gain some more things out of that but other than that I don't really think I can dance uh, but yeah so there's that Another thing, uh, today I nerd explored that when you have an idea, when you have an idea, run with it, no matter how many obstacles are in front of you. Run with it, find a way to jump over them, um, get around them, dig underneath them, because you will find some really creative and wacky concepts to get your idea um, to be a success. And so to the rest of you, I'll see you all next week. And Ryan, I'll, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.